Hello, I'm Maddie of Maddie Harvey Designs. I'm a knitwear designer and knitting teacher. And in this week's Thursday tutorial, I am gonna show you a really easy way to add tassels to your knitting project. Um, so these tassels are on uh, the edge of a shawl. This is my quiescence shawl pattern. So this is a double knit um, shawl pattern and the tassels have been added the little fringing has been added to the end of the slip stitch columns so it really gives a nice effect but you could add them to the edge of, of anything um, that you liked. So what you need to attach little fringing tassels um, is a crochet hook is the easiest way. So um, I've just grabbed, this is a, a shawl um, of mine called Winter Lights. It has big tassels um, at the corners but I'm gonna just use this edge to show you how I would attach fringing um, to an edge with sort of smaller kind of tassels so you need a crochet hook uh, one that's roughly the same size as the the knitting needle that you use to to knit the garment or the shawl or whatever you're adding the fringing to you need some yarn so I've just got this contrast color um, of four ply and you need something to wind the yarn around so that you can cut all your tassels or fringing the same size. So I've just grabbed this um, crochet hook case. It measures about 20 centimeters. And if I wind a few, um, I can cut a few at the same time and they'll all be roughly the same size. So I'm just gonna wind this round um, maybe about eight times and I'm gonna use uh, four strands for each of the fringing that I'm going to add. So that's four and that's three, seven, eight. Okay, so I will cut them at the bottom here. And they'll all be about the same size. And if you cut quite a few at a time, it just makes the whole process a bit quicker because you don't have to keep stopping um, to, to cut more yarn. Okay, so I've got four of my strands here. So you can make the fringing any kind of thickness that you like, really. You just need to be aware that you're gonna use the crochet hook to pull it through. So you don't wanna have so many strands that it, it makes it too hard to, for the strands to get hooked by the crochet hook. And I'm going to um, fold the strands in half like this and grab the middle kind of loop here. Okay, and I work out where I'm gonna put them. So on here, this um, shawl, somewhere that might be a nice place to put them, would be kind of at the end here where we've got these stripes. That would mean they were nicely spaced out. Um, and it would also look nice visually because it would be like a continuation of these stripes. So if I go to this one um, and just put my crochet hook underneath a couple of strands on the edge, and then get my midpoint of my fringing strands onto the crochet hook and pull them under. Just make sure you get them all. And then pull through so you've got a loop and then just thread your ends through the loop. And, oh, what have I done here? Oh, the one's just not come through, right. And then pull. Okay, and that makes a little knot there. So I'll show you again. So here's my other little group of four strands. If I fold them in half and just find the, the halfway point and make a little loop there, put my crochet hook through the edge. This um, pattern's got a nice I-cord edge, so it's quite easy to, to um, put the crochet hook through and then pull them all under, pull through enough for a loop and I could use my crochet hook just to pull them through or you can do it with your fingers and then just pull it up tight and then once you've added all your fringing you could just go along and quite carefully kind of cut them to make them all all the same but they should be roughly the same anyway um, and you could just go along adding some more 
um, along your edge and you know when you've finished if you look at it and you think actually we could do with another one in between you can always add more which is the nice thing about this kind of fringing so hopefully that's been useful um, I'm going to be running an online workshop where we'll go into this in a bit more detail we will be doing something like this which is a lattice fringing this is a pattern of mine called Centuria um, and it's a nice kind of summery shawl and it has this lattice fringing so that's we'll be doing uh, this kind of fringing in the online workshop as well as making tassels so if you're interested in finding out more about that the best thing to do is to join my mailing list which you can do at my website maddieharveydesigns.com Okay, thanks for watching and I will see you next Thursday for another Thursday tutorial. Bye!